it is Adobe update time. So uh, today is October 26, 2021. Uh, Adobe Max starts today and they typically release updates across all of their applications, not just Lightroom and Photoshop, which are the ones I concentrate on. But I wanted to do a very, very quick video because sometimes it's confusing on how to get the updates. So hopefully this helps out. So the first thing you have to do is open up your Creative Cloud Updater app. This is a program on your computer. It should be running in the background, but you you may not know it is, but you've got to go open up. It's called the Creative Cloud. Uh, I think it's just called Creative Cloud Desktop App, something along those lines. So you've got to go open that up. Now, in the top left corner, it says All Apps, and then right below that, you can go to Updates, okay? now. On the morning of October 26, 2021, mine didn't show the newest version of Photoshop or the newest version of Lightroom. So I went to check for updates and that essentially refreshes everything and it checks for updates and they showed up there. I can't guarantee that's always gonna work for you. Adobe does roll these things out over time, over usually 24 to 48 hours after the announcement. So today is Tuesday, usually by Thursday, everything will get rolled out. However, one of the ways where you might be able to nudge it in the right direction, uh, some people have luck closing the app, actually quitting out of it. Don't just close the window. You actually have to quit out of it, restart it again. Some people have luck doing that. Other people have luck totally restarting their computer and then coming in here and checking for updates. Again, I can't guarantee any of that will or won't work for you, but those are a couple of things you can try if you're not seeing uh, the updates. And if after all of this, you're not seeing the updates, no, nobody in the comments, me or anybody else can't help you. You have to contact Adobe, okay? So uh, leaving a comment on, I can't see it, isn't really gonna get you anywhere. Last thing is a little public service announcement. Keep in mind, this is a new version of Photoshop, so it will install an entirely new program. So when you go look in your applications folder, the pro, your program files folders, you'll see the old version of Photoshop, which is 22, okay? And the new version, 23. Now, Adobe calls these, they're actually, uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit weird and it's just because of the naming when Photoshop came out back in 1991 or whatever it was. but. It's Photoshop 2022 is what it's called when you look at it, when you look up in the top bar, but behind the scenes, it's version 23. So just keep that in mind. You always want the biggest number. You wanna make things simple, open the biggest number, whatever that is, that'll make things a lot easier. But keep in mind, you may have an app in your, uh, in your, uh, in your dock or somewhere on your computer that's a shortcut to Adobe Photoshop 2021. Well that doesn't get updated. So if you keep clicking that, you're gonna keep opening the old version. So you gotta to remember to update those things um, because then, you know, otherwise you end up opening the old version. I've, I've had people do it for a full eight to 10 months after the update. Um, I'll get an email from somebody that says, I don't see all these new features, it's been 10 months. So keep that in mind, you do have to update because all these will point to the old version. Throughout the year when they release dot updates, you can see 22.5, anything with a dot after it, those generally update the original application, but a whole new version will usually install an entirely new application um, on your computer. So uh, just keep that in mind and make sure you update any places that you have opening that. And then finally, it's okay to go in and you can uninstall old versions. So once you get up and running for a week or two on the new version, you can come in here, you can follow it over. There's three little dots and I can choose uninstall and I can uninstall the old versions, help save some of your disk space, helps clean things up and helps keep you from getting confused and potentially opening up an older version. And finally, if you want to see some what's new videos, I've got a whole bunch of them right here on YouTube. So I'll put the links into the description and I've done a lot of just really in-depth training on some of the new features, especially Lightroom Classic and Adobe Camera Raw got some of the biggest features that I've really ever seen since those programs came out. So that's a great place to go next if you want to learn a little bit more about what's new inside of Lightroom and Photoshop.